Uh, sorry, we just had to redo this, but this is a review for WrestleMania 26. And like I said before, in the um, predictions, Destination X was not a good pay-per-view for TNA, and WWE had to capitalize on, on this with WrestleMania to set the stage for the Monday Night Wars. Well, second Monday Night Wars, because, you know, obviously, WCW, WWE, everyone left through that, which I have, knows that it was good, and leading up to a Monday Night War, in general, is always going to be good pay reviews, and just hopefully we will see the Attitude Era like we used to back in the day during the Monday Night Wars. Because, quite frankly, I don't know how long WWE is going to last on the PG era. I'm just going to say that right now. But even before WrestleMania, you know, they always have a DVD extra, or you know, they put a dark match or whatever on there, and they have a 26 superstar battle royal. All superstars from Raw and SmackDown. I'm not sure if they had NXT rookies in there or not. I'm not totally sure. We'll just see when the battle. When we'll, just, we'll just see um, when the DVD comes out. But Yoshi Tatsu won that battle royal, which is actually pretty cool because Yoshi Tat. I actually like Yoshi Tatsu. I love Yoshi Tatsu just just because um you know not just because of the Japanese style because the Japanese you know have their own little prestigious style to wrestling. And they have, and they brought us that to the United States. But Yoshi Tatsu is just reminds me of an Asian Van Dam. I'm just gonna say that right now. I don't know why. It's just the kicks are kind of reminds me of Tajiri. If I think about it more. But you know, Yoshi Tatsu has a bright future, and that battle royal, you know, is always a step up the ladder. Because even though you're not on the car, you're not on the TV card at WrestleMania, you still won at WrestleMania. So, congrats to Yoshi Tatsu. Now, the Divas Tag Team Match. Last year they had a, what was it, a Miss WrestleMania Battle Royal, which Santino won as a cra uh, cross-dressers. I hate cross-dressers. We even knew it was Santino. You have to call yourself Santina, because we all knew. It was retarded. But, this WrestleMania Divas Match was actually better than last year's. Because, not only it was not a Battle Royal, obviously, but, it was a tag team match. On one side you have Kelly Kelly, Mickey James, and Alicia Fox. No, no, Alicia Fox on the other side. It was Kelly Kelly, Mickey James, Eve, Beth Phoenix, and uh, I think I already said Gail Kim. If I didn't, Gail Kim. But whatever. On the other side we have Lake Cool, Maurice, Alicia Fox, and Vicky Guerrero. Vicky Guerrero actually won the match surprisingly against Kelly Kelly with the frog splash. And I'm just going to say, every pay, every, every pay review has its flaws. Just why the frog splash? I mean, we know Eddie's dead. You know, they just want to wanna have Vicky there. The only reason Vicky is there because of Eddie's death, you know, just to live on the Guerrero legacy. Yet, Chavo has been there the whole time, and they... God damn, Chavo. I'm just going to say that right now, but seriously. You don't do the frog splash. You could have someone else do it. Maurice doing the frog splash would have been pretty hard, to be honest. And then she does that little pin thing after, but still. If you, you have Vicky Rare do the frog splash, I know it's family. I understand that. I have a lot of respect for Eddie Guerrero, but Eddie would be shaking his head and just have a face palm because of that. I'm just going to say that right now. Eddie, man. Eddie. Anyway, Rey Mysterio defeated CM Punk, meaning he's not in the Straight Edge Society, which is awesome. I mean, we were on the way, I knew Rey was going to win from the start, but I mean, what if he did lose, you know? If he did lose, we'd have to take off his mask, you know? I'm just going to say, hey, possibilities could have been there. I'm just going to say, but Eddie, no, not Eddie, Rey won. <laughs> not Eddie, Eddie's up there. Ray won. I'm sorry, I just had to do the second recording of this because, you know, whatever. But still. The Legacy Triple Threat match. This was actually a pretty good match. Randy Orton won. I don't remember who he pinned or something. But it doesn't matter. Because Randy Orton won. And the fact is, you put someone like a Randy Orton or a uh, Triple H for that matter. You, it doesn't matter if you put him as a healer face. Edge, for example, is a perfect example. 
you put them in a healer face, doesn't matter how you put them as, because they make it work, and that is the talent you'd like to see in any kind of fed, any kind of federation, for that matter. That's why I say fed, federation, I'm sorry. But, let's see, Triple H defeated Sheamus. We all knew he was going to win. I'm just going to say that, right? We all knew Triple H was going to win. But, as predictions show in the past, you know, you'll always have something that you're wrong about. And I was wrong about the Unified Tag Team Champions, Showmiz, retaining their titles. Which, I actually thought John Morrison and our truth was going to win. Because, you know, have some new talent, new blood, some ta as Tag Team Champions, that would have been pretty cool. But, you know, whatever. Good for them. Now, Jack Swagger probably had the shocker of the night. Jack, well, the side of something I'll get to later. But Jack Swagger won Money in the Bank, as you all saw on Monday Night Raw. He tried to cash it on John Cena, which was actually pretty smart. I was actually wanting Swagger to just pin him or get the ref, because like the ref's retarded, he didn't get there fast enough. But Jack Swagger won Money in the Bank. And I didn't think he was going to win it, but, you know, he'll surprise me and a few other people. Now... The World Heavyweight Championship was on the line at WrestleMania, like it always is. But Chris Jericho defeated Edge, which is n not a shocker for me, but kind of like a bummer because I wanted Edge to win. <laughs> but oh well, Edge probably has a rematch clause. You know, he'll, well, you know, if he has it, I don't know if challengers have a rematch clause or not. But be cool to have a rematch of those guys. Now John Cena versus Trip. Versus Batista. I'm not making this face because Cena won. I would have made it anyway, but the fact is, you have a 10 minute match for the WWE Championship, a title that has been prestigious for many, many years in the WWE, many years in the past. But now you have to have a 10 minute match. And normally, in, this, in a pay per view like this, it wouldn't matter. Because they would be have longer matches, but this is WrestleMania. They had a four-hour pay-per-view. Four hours. Like I said, every pay-per-view has its flaws. A ten-minute match for the WWE Championship. That's almost ECW Championship level. Like time in a lot time, time-wise. ECW Championship maybe matches go to probably go ten minutes of WWE. That's what the WWE Championship was. A ten-minute match, and yet Cena won anyway. It's like Cena was facing a jobber. I'm just going to say that right now. Hopefully, they get the belt off him because it's just, it's predictable now. It's just, WWE's becoming a little predictable like it was a few years ago. But seriously, Cena wins another title. Wow. It's like nobody's seen that before. Now, Bret Hart versus Mr. McMahon. 13 years. 13 years with the Montreal Screwjob. And they finally have the match. And before we have recording issues and they didn't save again, I'm just going to have a part two just for the heck of it. 